Joshua and Charla, YouTube Kaboral. Hi everyone! Today we have a special guest who will be helping us with our chemistry experiment. Sobrang taas ng energy niya today. <laughs> okay, anyway, without further ado, Chenchurne, my ate. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Today we will be creating. May idea ka? Hindi mo lang idea. Wala. Wala. But we're gonna ako dito. Yeah, okay. for the three points. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to create or like we're going to execute um egg in the bo egg, egg in a bottle na experiment. So we have here egg. Pero meron pa siyang shell. Dapat tanggalin ng shell. Tanggalin lang nga ako ka. We have an egg, paper, and Match, and also a bottle. We're going to put the egg in a bottle. Okay, so now that we have our egg without a shell, what we're going to do is we're going to light up a paper. A paper. Dami yung energy, di ba? Now we wait. Wait lang, but wala siya nagapasok te. Okay, so we're going to do it the second time around. Kasi may pala siyang siwang dito, it's not a perfect egg. So, wala namang perfect. <laughs> so, kung karamdam niya, kaya ganyan yung energy. Low. Oh, di ba? It's moving. It's working. It looks like that. I don't know why it's not totally going to go up. Maybe because of the seawang. It's chaotic when it's on a video. Okay, so anyway, I guess that is it for today's experiment. At least, it's up to the top, right? It went down. It moved down. Anyway, thank you for your assistance. Bye. Bye. This egg in a bottle experiment is actually a combined gas law. It is a combination of the Gay Lussac's, Charles Law, and also Boyle's Law because the three variables, which are temperature, pressure, and also volume, works or interact with each other through this experiment. So, naturally, if we're just going to use the, or we're just going to try to put the egg inside the bottle, it wouldn't be successful, or like we wouldn't even make it halfway because. Um, naturally, eggs, the, the, the egg's diameter isn't enough to, I mean, like, it's not as exact as the bottle is. It's too big. And that the outside air pressure and inside air pressure have influences in the way the egg should be put inside. And then, with that said, gravity lang, or like, based on the side, guys, they said that um, the, only pre I, the only thing that could push the egg inside is gravity, and that isn't enough. So when we put the paper with the fire in, it's because there are air molecules inside the bottle already. And when we put this one in, like with the fire, the temperature inside the bottle arises. And with that said, um, usually if air molecules are being heated up, they tend to be further away from each other. And since there isn't enough space inside the bottle, uh, the tendencies are the air molecules are pushing against the walls or yeah pushing against the boundaries of the bottle, causing it to have higher pressure. Once the pressure is high enough inside the bottle, it causes the egg to bounce up and down, cause, uh, which causes also for the air molecules to escape. And once that happens, of course, when some of the air molecules escape, even though they have escaped, um, the volume inside the bottle would still remain because of the fire inside because of the paper. But once that um, combustion is used up and the flame is dead. Flame's dead. The flame is dead. Um, the pressure or temperature inside begins also to subside or to cool down. What happens is that there would be an parang unfair, unfair, or not the same. Uh, the pressure inside the bottle and outside the bottle wouldn't be the same anymore. Therefore, the outside pressure would be greater than the inside pressure inside the bottle. Or the first force exerted would be enough to push the egg 
down the bottle. So some of the air filling or sucking molecules would go back again. Yeah, that's it. That's the explanation for since there is no constant temperature, pressure, and also volume within the whole side of the experiment, and on all of the three variables interacted and are related with each other, therefore, this experiment is a combined gas law experiment. So that is it for this experiment. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you had fun doing the little experiment that was slightly failed for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!